Hello everyone, this is Thomas from SmartBridge and today we are in session two of the series for Orchestration Studio. At this moment we are looking after to generate uh, bad jobs scheduling inside Orchestrator, uh, service requests regarding the UVEs and the reports that are going to be executed through Orchestrator and also we are going to look after the parameters that need to be set up in order to have a proper orchestration scheduling inside the orchestration studio with version 9.2 of JDE. So first of all, uh, let's remember what it's a batch job and why it's important to have a proper scaling on those. So as you may remember, uh, a batch job or a batch application is what it's called reports. And these reports are intended to perform a big transaction operation without the user interference. So once we have a scheduled uh, batch job or a batch application to be executed, uh, this one is going to take a while to process the information because of the volume of the data. And once we have figured out how to scale these applications or these reports, it's easier for us to handle this amount of data for processing. So without further ado, let's go with start and generate a new service request to link our batch job to our orchestration. We go to the main screen in home on Orchestrator Studio and then we select service request. Now once we have uh, the service request section open, we need to select the create service request and in the drop down menu select the report section. And with this information we can see that here we have the basic parameters that we need to perform a service request for the report execution. The first part is the name that we need to identify our service request and also the report ID that we will be, we will be using. For this case, we are going to use R03, R03 B168. That this report is going to give, give us uh, an overview of the invoicing and it's not going to update any data. It's only for demonstration purposes. Now the product code, we are going to use the 55. This is, this is, this is a demo, but we can use the product code that most suit the business requirements of your instance. Now in the show description, we only need to indicate what is this service request about. So execute UVE R03 And in the next section, we need to identify the report ID with the report name. When we input the report ID, you can see that once we have identified the report, Orchestrator will identify the report name and it will tell us it's an invoice trend analysis report. And right after that, in the drop down menu in the versions below, we can see the versions that this report has and we can select each one of these ones depending on our needs to be fitted or, or in, in, in inserted in this service request, we're going to select the JDE001. That is the default application and does not have any customization. So in the second section of this uh, window, we can see different options depending on the report that we already have. We can see the blind execution tab or the, the blind execution button selection the report interconnect selection and the override version selection. These sections will depend on the report we are using. If our report enables the interconnects and the overrides, it will be available to click. Since this report is only an invoice trend analysis and it will only uh, show us certain data once it's executed, we are not going to require uh, any of these additional ones. And then we have here the queue name where we want this report to be executed. The queue is exactly where this report is going to be processed in the server. So we get a separate processing thread and we can select or customize this action as well. We are going to select the default for our instance this queue batch. And we then we have the toggle called fire and forget. This fire and forget toggle will enable us to launch the report. It didn't matter about the outcome of this report. The next step of the orchestration will launch even if this step has not yet completed. So for our demonstration, we are going to disable the fire and forget. 
because we want to uh, have our different steps one right after the other so we don't have any issues with that and we don't launch a job right at the same time as the other is executing. So Fire and Forget is disabled. And as you can see, depending on the report, we can modify the data selection and data sequencing and also the processing options of each report. Since this report does not have any processing options or data selection, these actions are here uh, disabled but will be enabled if the report got any of these uh, settings to be filled up. So once we have completed to fulfill this window, we can save the changes and our service request will be completed to have a report launched through Orchestrator. Now if I close it up and go back to home, you can see that here I can see different service requests I generated previously one for 155, one for 166, one for 167, and the last one I created was 168. These reports are similar because they are a financial analysis and does not require any bigger user interaction. They will only provide a report that give us, give us a summary of the finance and the invoicing of our system. If we want to make a schedule to launch each one of these ones in sequence, each five minutes, then we need to generate an orchestration and fulfill the steps of each one to see how we can schedule these jobs to run each five minutes. So right now, to create the orchestration, we go to the home again and select the orchestrations menu. Once we are inside the orchestrations menu, you can see how, how I have here an already created orchestration for the summary trend analysis. But we are going to create a new one so we can see step by step what we need to set up in order to have these jobs scheduled. We click in new orchestration. And once we have this window open, we need to indicate the orchestration name that is going to be demo scheduled batch jobs. The product code is going to be the, the 55 since it's a custom demo. Okay, now in the orchestration steps, we need to input the service request that we already have created. For this, in the section orchestration steps, we are going to select the plus button, add step, and we are going to enter the type of step that we are going to have. In this case, it's a service request. And we click in OK. Once we have listed one service request, we need to select which service request we are intended to have. For that, in the name section, we have a drop down menu including add step. And from this one, we can select the service request we just have created, that is service request R03B168. That is the one that we have just created. We can select this one. And right after that, we have seen that here we have the service request and our UBE or batch job already queued to be executed in this service request. Now, how are we going to know that this job has already executed inside of JD Edwards if we don't have a login? We can look after to add an additional step to this service request to send us an email once the job is completed and the execution was completed successfully. For that, in the orchestration, we can add an additional step below this one in the orchestration steps. Insert a step before the one that we already have selected. And the type of step in this, in this case is going to be an additional service request. For this demo, I already have created a, a service request that is called UB execute success that is going to be sending us an email notifying that the 
execution was completed successfully of our report. Now I have selected this one and I can see that I can change the order of this service request. Let me just go back to that. So in order to insert a step before the one that you already have scheduled, I only need to click in insert step before. I only need to click in insert the step after. Select the service request I would like to insert. And in this case, I will select the one I already created to submit the message once the UV is executed successfully. With these conditions, I have a basic scheduling to launch one of these uh, batch scheduled jobs and to send an email once the execution is completed. Now, if you can see here, I can have these jobs scheduled in a different time or a different date. And the option should be available to be filled up in this section with the orchestration output. But for this moment, I'm only interested in seeing that the steps are completed one at a time. So for that said, I will select only my service request that is sending the message to me once the execution is completed. And as you can see, I already have performed different parameters to confirm which UVE and which version I'm launching. So in the drop down menu, I will only select the ones of my service request that is report name and report version. With these changes, I will save this orchestration. And as of this moment, I have already created this orchestration with two basic steps. Now, if I want to modify the output of my orchestration to have different outcomes, it depends on the reports I'm running at this moment. I can modify the output as we performed it in our previous video when we modify the output or output of the connector service request. But for this case, I'm going to leave the output as it is since the reports are not generating any additional data. Now, if I want to launch this orchestration, I'll need to go to my orchestration client to submit the orchestration and see how it's running. So for that purpose, I will go to tools in the orchestration client here in JD and select orchestration client. I will log in with my information and I should be able to see my new orchestration created here called demo scheduled bad job. Now for this example, I will be launching the orchestration. The for this example, I will be launching the batch job I already linked with my service request, and I will try to monitor the execution. If I look inside JD Edwards, like I'm doing in this moment, and see the submitted jobs in the server, I will be able to only see two jobs submitted by different users, not my user ID. So when I launch the orchestration, I should receive an email that my orchestration has already been completed and also that my job was already executed with success. I will leave the work with, in, with what with submitted jobs application open alongside while I launch the orchestrator. So in the orchestration client, orchestration name, I select my orchestration and click run. Once the orchestration is launched, it should take three to four minutes depending on the report I'm running to generate the output and receive the email of the execution complete. Now, if I review my work with submitted jobs, I can see that my job has already been executed, the invoice trends analysis with success by my user ID because I launched the orchestration. And if I review the output, I'm able to see the invoice trend analysis report with the data generated in our demo. And if I review my email, I should be able to confirm that the report has already been successfully executed. This is uh, just a quick introduction of how to perform a scheduled batch job orchestration 
in JD 9.2 and also uh, what we can look after to complete uh, different processing in the next session. So for more information regarding the Orchestrator Studio and the additional steps that we might perform in here, uh, please stay tuned in our next session. We'll be looking after the additional functionalities that can be performed in Orchestration Studio and also uh, what could be performed with the current version of JDE 9.2. Thank you so much.